The 2019 Ford Expedition Platinum. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford, Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to cover all the standard equipment and optional equipment on that Platinum trim of the 2019 Ford Expedition. This is what I call the complete guide because we'll go over every uh, bit of information for you. Uh, first, we'll go around the outside as well as the inside and talk about standard equipment. And then we'll talk about a package that's available and standalone options towards the end of the video. So refer to the timestamps down below as well as the prices for those different packages. Uh, they'll be listed in the description if you're watching this on YouTube, as well as our other videos. We have uh, an XLT video already uh, done that'll be on, be linked down below. And then when we get the limited video available, it'll be listed down there too. So definitely check, uh, check back for that. First I wanna do is before we move up to the front, uh, and talk about styling and the engine there, I wanna talk about the safety features. Now, if you've watched the XLT video, you can go ahead and fast forward now. If you haven't watched any of those videos, I will cover the safety features real quick before we move forward. The uh, driver and front passenger are gonna have a dual stage front airbag up there that's gonna deploy a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. You have a side impact airbag too. That's gonna be on position on the side of the seats uh, to deploy for those side collisions on the vehicle. You also have safety canopy airbags with rollover sensors that can deploy down from the roof to protect the occupants in the first, second, and third row if you have any kind of rollover there. Now this does have advanced track with roll stability control, so hopefully you won't have a rollover. Uh, and the goal on that is if you're going in the curve too fast or if it's a slick driving road, uh, it's gonna use a series of brakes to keep you on your intended path, even has curve control to help you out with that as well. Uh, so a great way to kind of uh, protect you that way and keep you on, on that intended path. This does have the SOS Close Crash Alert System, so if you are in an accident, you're off the road, it'll honk the horns and flash the lights and let other people know that you need help there. Also, 911 Assist is gonna be available, it's gonna be part of this. Uh, you Bluetooth your phone in and you call 911 directly instead of relying on like OnStar or some of these other uh, versions to call the police for you. Uh, so that way it's gonna get you uh, that help a lot faster uh, using that system there too. So uh, there's a, a bunch of other great uh, features. Uh, here in the back seat for the kids, you do have the lat system that lower anchors and tethers for children. It's gonna secure those car seats back against those seats. And you have the child safety locks as well that you can lock out those doors so that way they can't open them while you're going down the road. So some great safety features that you find on all your expeditions as well as about all your Ford vehicles too. Now all of your expeditions are available in either the regular link like you're seeing with this particular vehicle or your max length. Your max length is gonna be a little bit longer. It's your extended length, gives you more cargo room in the back of it. So I'll give you some clips uh, that we did on the XLT uh, where we kind of show the difference of what that cargo room looks in the back behind the seat. And we'll get, dive into that a little bit more when we get to the back of the vehicle too. Uh, but you do have two different links that are available for you on the Platinum. Also, it's available in either two wheel drive or your optional four wheel drive. Now, uh, if you do get the four wheel drive, you will get that intelligent four wheel drive system. So it is a, a one speed automatic four wheel drive system where you can have uh, four auto as well as two high and you have the different drive modes. Now, even the two wheel drives will have the drive mode with a normal uh, sport and eco select mode uh, but with your uh, four wheel drives you also get uh, to where you can go ahead and shift that drive modes and you can see it on the dash shift it for the you know the different conditions of the road so if it's if you're in sand you're in rut uh, whatever you might be you kind of shift it to your road conditions and it's going to automatically shift your four wheel drive into whatever it needs to whether it needs to be in four auto or not uh, it'll go ahead and shift it for you so you don't have to do that. Or if you just want to, you can just hit that four auto button and it's activated. Now, this particular vehicle, you're seeing uh, two other buttons that are on there. That's actually part of the two-speed four-wheel drive system. That's part of a package we're gonna talk about after we get to standard equipment. So we'll get to that in just a little bit. Your standard engine on this, and the only engine available, of course, is a 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. Now, this engine is actually geared a little bit differently, and you're gonna have more power on the Platinum uh, 3.5 EcoBoost than you do on the other trims. It is gonna be 400 horsepower instead of 375, and 480 pound-feet of torque instead of 470 that you get with the limited and XLT trims. So it is beefed up uh, to help you out. Of course, we're gonna talk about a way to get uh, more towing so you can get that maximum amount of towing uh, with this vehicle. Uh, without the, uh, the extra tow package we're gonna talk about in a little bit as optional equipment, it's gonna be able to tow about 6,300 pounds, uh, which is a pretty good amount of uh, weight uh, for this particular vehicle. Of course, conventional towing uh, is gonna get you, uh, we'll, we'll talk more about that when we get to the back of the vehicle, but pretty good amount of power behind it. We'll have the auto start stop technology, which means when you press the brake, it's gonna go ahead and stop the vehicle and it's going to shut the vehicle off. Uh, when you let go of the brake, it's gonna start the vehicle back up again. And that's helped to help conserve on fuel economy. If that's something you don't like, uh, you can deactivate it on that trip by pressing the little A with the circle around it. 
uh, above the the eight inch touchscreen we're going to talk about when we get to the inside so you just uh, deactivate it real quickly with that it will come with a 10 speed automatic transmission with select shift and select shift just allows you to be able to go ahead and uh, put it in that little s mode there or the uh, manual mode the m right in the middle and you can shift it up and down using the plus and minus right below the uh, the dial shifter there and, and just like a manual transmission uh, that's where you'd want to go at too if you're maybe on the hill coming down the mountains and you need to downshift a little bit slower that's what you're going to want to do uh, to be able to help you in those types of situations as well so um, some great uh, features there now i want to talk about some uh, other technology features before we move up to the front uh, here on the vehicle because uh, there's so much to cover i wanted to kind of break this up a little bit the first one to cover is the enhanced active park assist this is going to have your front sensors your back sensors and side sensors uh, to help you uh, park your vehicle a little bit easier these expeditions even the max are going to be a little bit harder to park so it'll help control all the steering while you control the gas and the brake for parallel parking reverse perpendicular parking and parking out of those tight parking spaces parallel parking spaces so uh, it comes in real handy i do have a video on our youtube channel how this works on an edge that when it first came out back in 2018 uh 17 actually i believe uh, and how that works inside as well as an outside perspective so definitely check out the video under our how-to video playlist uh, on our youtube channel also this is going to get your pre-collision assist with pedestrian detection and emergency braking. What's great about this is it's going to use a sensor that senses if there's someone in front of you, they're not stopped or they're stopped and you're not hitting your brake or even a pedestrian comes out, they're not paying attention. It's going to alert you with a series of lights on the dash, tones as well that you need to stop and it's going to help initiate brake support to go along with that. So a great way to protect you and everyone inside as well as people on the road too. This also is going to come with adaptive cruise control with stop and go. Love this feature. What, what it's going to do is you can set that gap and adjust it on how uh, close to the vehicle you are that it's going to, to apply on uh, the, the adaptive cruise control. And what this is going to do if the person in front of you is going slower, they slow down, it's going to slow you down to go their speed so you don't rear end them. And then when they speed up, or you pass them and you resume, it's gonna go ahead and do that for you. So you have to use your brake and your gas and your resume or anything, it's gonna do everything and it even comes to a complete stop if you're in that stop and go type traffic. So I uh, love how that works, uh, I use it all the time and, uh, and just love it. Also, this does have your lane keeping system. Uh, lane keeping system uh, has three great features within it. One of them is your driver alert. So it does know when you are not paying attention, taking your hands off the steering wheel, and it will alert you with tones and a message on the dash that you, that you need to be more aware. Also, you're gonna have the lane keeping uh, aid or alert system. Uh, the alert system just allows you, what it's gonna do is if you have it set on that, if you start leaving your lane, it's gonna vibrate the steering wheel and let you know that you're, you're leaving your lane. Uh, the other part of that is your assist part of that system uh, or the aid system and what that's going to do is not only just it's not going to just vibrate the steering wheel it's actually going to keep you in your lane so it's going to hit that line it's going to bring you back in use torque vectoring to do that and when it comes from the factory it will be set up on just the alert and so you can actually switch it over to the aid or to both uh, if you'd like that activated just go into the setting screen uh, there under the lane keeping system and be able to activate that so some great uh, features some great, great safety features we're going to cover some other features that are standard equipment on the on the platinum as well when we cover some of the other equipment here on the front now as we move to the front we want to talk about the styling up here but there's also some other safety features uh, they're going to be all standard equipment on all your platinums as well so we'll cover both of those up here now i love the grill up here it does have your satin finish grill uh, with your chrome bars that go across there so great uh, look to the vehicle a little bit different look than uh, your limited there uh, your headlights full led so you're gonna have the led signature lighting that lights up around uh, those headlights that can be on as your daytime running lights you're going to have your led uh, low beam and LED high beam and this does have the automatic feature for your headlights so when you have it in the auto setting they're gonna come on automatically when it gets dark and it's gonna shut off when it gets uh, light out and the high beams are gonna be like that too they are auto high beam feature as well so when you have it activated in your setting screen under the lighting section uh, it'll activate the same way as your kind of your automatic headlights will so if there's no one in front of you and it's dark outside it's going to turn those high beams on if someone approaches you if you're in the city lights it's going to turn the high beams off and this comes in real handy for that person that tends to forget uh, to take those high beams off when a car approaches it's going to do it for you automatically you will also get your led fog lights down here too uh, so real bright lights with these LEDs uh, and the Platinum Edition, they are going to be standard equipment. I uh, love the nice chrome accent that's sitting right around these headlights or the fog lights, I should say. 
body colored bumpers throughout here and a satin chrome uh, front skid plate with your chrome tow hooks if you have your 4x4s up there. Uh, great look to it. Don't forget you do have the sensors not only in the front and the back and the side that helps you if you're pulling in the driveways and such not just when you use an enhanced active park assist so it's going to help you it's really a perimeter alarm so you know even as you're backing up the side sensors will work for you as well there uh, and give you some some great features on the front of it here. Now this does have your rain sensing wipers as standard equipment and uh, when you have a net rain sensing wiper activated in your wiper settings there uh, it's going to go ahead just when it's raining and you have it in one of those intermittent settings there the auto settings it's going to turn those wipers on automatically for you. You don't have to keep moving it around. Uh, I like it in the inclement when it, the rain keeps changing on me. Uh, you know, it's not raining real fast uh, yet, but it just keeps changing the speed and you keep, keep having to turn that wiper on and off. You don't have to worry about it because it's going to go ahead and wipe that a little bit faster. Uh, depends on how hard it's raining. So it does use a sensor up there on that uh, to be able to wipe those. Also, windshield wiper de-icers are also standard equipment. So in the winter time, we have this around, happen around here in Kansas, that windshield will defrost that snow or ice off the windshield, uh, but it keeps those windshield wipers wet and then they'll freeze up on when you're going down the highway when it's uh, freezing out. Uh, so the windshield wiper de-icers will help keep those uh, defrosted so they're actually functional for you. You don't have to stop and try to get uh, break that ice off the windshield wiper. So some great features here on the front of the vehicle that I think you'll find is a very con a convenience as well as great safety features and a great look on the front of the vehicle too. Now as we move to the uh, side over here, you're going to see the uh, wheel that came so, comes over from the Limited 302A Equipment Group and that's these 22 inch polished aluminum wheels. Uh, so it also includes this, the CCD, that continuously controlled dampening suspension as well. Anything on the Expedition that has a 22 inch wheels is going to come with the CCD. Uh, it's going to really just uh, help you with the road conditions, uh, giving you a nice smooth ride with that. Uh, so that's a really nice uh, upgrade when you go up to the 22 inches, uh, which is going to be standard on your Platinum here. Your uh, mirror caps here, satin chrome finish here on the mirror caps, turn signal indicator on the outside. You see they are folded in, it does have the auto fold feature as well. Uh, you get that from the 202A equipment group on up uh, from the XLT trim. Uh, I love the feature on that and how that works so when you have the doors locked it's going to automatically fold the mirrors in towards the glass and then when you get, when you get into the vehicle it's going to automatically fold them out. Power heated uh, mirror as well on that glass. The high intensity security approach lamp that's going to light the ground beside the vehicle as well when you use your keyless entry or the intelligent access uh, as you get into the vehicle, uh, that's going to light up there as well. And then this does have your bliss system, that uh, bliss with cross traffic alert. And the way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, it's going to use cross traffic alert. So if someone crosses your path behind you, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror as well as a message on the dash telling you if they're coming from the left or the right in a series of tones and it's not safe uh, to back up. And what's great about this, if you have a trailer on your vehicle too, the bliss system, the blind spot system also includes the blind spot of your trailer as well. So that trailer monitoring to go along with your blind spot information system. So I love how everything works along with those mirror features and uh, some, some nice upgrades there uh, for it. You also get auto dimming driver side view mirror too that's going to dim that mirror if those cars want to come behind you uh, with those bright lights. So uh, some great features on the mirror. Sometimes we overlook some of those mirror features but there are a lot of safety as, as well as some convenience features that go along with these mirrors. Look at the running boards over here on the side. They are power deployable running boards, body colored on the side with a chrome accent at the top there. Uh, real sharp look to it. Uh, when you open the doors, those running boards are going to deploy down lower than most of your other running boards uh, and helping you get in and out. And also when you have it, the doors shut, it's going to uh, fold it up into place and it's going to protect the top of that from, you know, that snow, uh, mud and all that kind of things collecting in the top of that, uh, which is a great way to make it a little bit safer for you to get in and out of the vehicle too. So we really love the power boards on this and you can only get the power boards on the limited and above. So uh, that's a great feature. I love the platinum lettering here on the side, on the doors, on both sides of that. Your door handles are going to be body colored with the satin chrome finish uh, through in the middle of those as well. Satin chrome finish here on your belt line that goes wraps clear across from the driver's door around to the front passenger door uh, there. Great look there. You're going to also get these chrome roof rack side rails as a standard equipment is on these. 
you're also going to get the cargo package. And one feature of the cargo package is going to be the black crossbars. They're going to be on the vehicle as well up there. Uh, so that's normally part of the uh, cargo package on the other trims. But in the Platinum, you get the cargo package as standard equipment on that. So you're going to have that up there as well. Intelligent access that allows you to be able to leave that key fob in your pocket. You just walk up, put your hands in the door handle, and it's going to automatically unlock the vehicle. And I was wrong, it actually folds it out when you unlock the vehicle. So then you can just get in and out of the vehicle um, without having to get the keys out of your pocket, which is a nice convenience. When you get out, you just uh, lock the, uh, press the, the knob there on the door. Uh, I did notice that though, if you have it set up just for your driver's door to unlock, uh, then you can only lock it with your driver's door. If you have all doors, then you can lock it with all the doors as well. Uh, some uh, little known fact there. This have keypad here on the pillar that allows you to be able to leave the keys inside if you want to or access the vehicle without the keys by setting your special code. And I like that it disappears after a while so people don't really know it's there unless uh, they know something about Expedition. So a uh, great feature as well. It does have intelligent access. So again, when you get inside, you won't have to get the keys out to get in and out or to start the vehicle. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, talk about the remote real quick and hopefully I give you a, a, a close-up of the clip if I don't forget uh, of the remote. So you do have your lock, unlock, remote start on this remote too. Uh, so you can remote start it when you're in a certain proximity of the vehicle. Uh, let me demonstrate how that works. You're just gonna press that lock button once and then press the, the circle there right below that twice and it's gonna go ahead and remote start the vehicle. Uh, and then you're gonna know this remote started because it has a little green light at the top there that lets you know that it started. If you wanna shut it off if it is running, you just press and hold that remote start button and it's gonna shut the vehicle off and it's gonna light up red. So green means it's running, red means it's not running. So uh, that's a, a great fact there. And then also with this, uh, the key is actually in here. So for some reason the battery's dead and the intelligent access won't work, you still have the key that you can just press the button on the back, you can slide it out and use the key to get in and out of the vehicle uh, easily as well there. So uh, that just, it, it's kind of a fail safe for you. Uh, the batteries on these last a really long time uh, and uh, you'll know when they're going down uh, for you there. So uh, great features here on the side. Don't forget about the privacy glass, these dark tinted glass. It's gonna keep a little bit cooler for those in the second and the third row, keeping some of that sun out, but it's a nice luxury look as well here on the side of it. Now as we move to the back, you will see a body colored rear spoiler back here. Uh, also you do that center high mounted stoplight is right below there. Rear defrost with rear wiper and I like the nice the high gloss black uh, strips that are on both sides here uh, of that. Uh, so just a real nice uh, finish and look to it. Instead of your body colored or any of the trims, it kind of gives it more of a sleek look on the back with that right there. You do have here on the back satin chrome finish for the applique back here. So a little bit different than what your limited is going to have with their chrome with the Expedition stamped in there as well. Rear view camera that does have a washer. I didn't mention that earlier. Uh, you will have a washer on that, that system there too. In fact, I also did forget to mention that this not only does have a rear view camera but it has a 360 degree camera as well uh, and that comes over from the limited 302a equipment group so you're going to have a camera on the back the side as well as the front so as you're backing up not only going to be able to see behind you but all the way around the vehicle uh, too you're going to have kind of a split screen a split screen view uh, where the left side is going to be the backup or front camera and the other side is going to be your 360 degree camera so that's a great feature to have. Reverse sensing is going to be right here on the bumper so you can again with along with the side sensors really be able to alert you if you're when you're backing up as well as pulling forward uh, all the way around you really and you do have these uh, this black bumper cover here that really protects it so when you're pulling things in you have a hard time they dropping things you're not going to uh, ruin the paint on the bumper that way so a real nice uh, look uh, a uh, convenient kind of feature right there. Satin chrome finish here on the rear uh, skid plate back here with a cover for the hitch. It says have your class four receiver hitch with four pin and seven pin wiring uh, for you. So this uh, cover kind of makes it real easy. There's two finger screws that you just twist and you can take that off when you need to use it. But it, I like having it on because then that way you don't have to worry about hitting your shin on it uh, or just having a great look and covering that up. So uh, more of a luxury look that way as well. Now this the glass does pop separate uh, from the lift gate itself if you want to there's a, the button is just to the right of the rear view camera you just press it and it's going to release it and then you go ahead and use a little lever to take it on up so like how that works and when you close it you don't have to slam it down either 
it closes real easily too. And then you do have the lift gate. It is power lift gate. Now, before we talk about the lift gate, I don't want to forget to mention the LED tail lights. Uh, the lights coming on reminded me of that. You do have full LEDs around the vehicle, including your LED tail lights. Now, about the uh, lift gate, you do have power lift gate. You can press the button under here. You can also use your remote, hit that button twice, or you can use your foot. It does have the foot activated lift gate. The hitch does not get in the way. Just go a little bit to the left or the right of the hitch, and it's gonna open up pretty easily that way. So, uh, and what's great about it, uh, show something, uh, something else about these lift gates. They will adjust and you can adjust the height. So if you have someone maybe that's a little bit shorter and they can't reach the button to shut it, you can bring it down to that level. You can press and hold that button and it's gonna go ahead then the next time after it beeps, Next time when it opens up, it'll stop there. So that way you'll be able to reach it. So that's something a lot of people didn't, uh, don't realize on that. So I like to point that out on most of my videos here. Now here in the back, uh, this does have the regular length. Uh, this is a regular length. Uh, and then I'm gonna give you, show you some clips uh, from the extended length on the, um, one of my XLT videos that I did. Now, the XLT video did not have the cargo package. Now, one of the benefits of the cargo package uh, is, I'm gonna move these floor mats. By the way, you get floor mats for the footwells in the front seat, as well as the second row seat, uh, standard equipment too. Now, the cargo package, in the past, uh, you had to get the extended link to get this cargo package, this little shelf system here to be able to use it, but not on the 2019 and 18 expeditions because now it's gonna be even available as part of the cargo package, even on the regular link. So I'm glad we have a regular link to show you that. So what's great about it is a, a couple different systems that you can do. One of them is you can bring this up here and you can uh, put it into positions, pull these little, these little hooks out, and you just sets right into those, uh, giving you kind of more of a divider. So if you have things that might roll out when you open the lift gate, uh, you can put those in there and that way you won't worry about it. It kind of contains them within there. So you have that uh, as availability for you. Then you can also flip it this way and you can set it in those hooks on the uh, next knob down uh, and that's going to set it in there and give you kind of a shelf. And what that is going to allow you to do is be able to divide your cargo a little bit, especially if you have bags instead of like suitcases or something. You can put some of those down, down, down here, put these others on top of it and they're not going to smash you down or shift on you as well. So you can kind of I'll layer it in there a little bit better and then you can see out underneath there you do have a little cargo area on these regular length uh, with some uh, put, to put some things in there uh, you're seeing in this image that is the cargo netting uh, which you can use these hooks as well as the loops back here to put the cargo netting back there putting smaller items in there so they won't roll around and to the right side over there is where you're going to see your jack being is going to be located now your extended length are going to have a little more storage underneath there because they have more room so you're going to see a more extended storage in there uh, but regardless extended or regular length you're going to have the shelving system uh, that you can be able to use uh, to be able to really help you out manage your cargo and that's why it's kind of part of that cargo package uh, now the back seats uh, third row seat uh, six uh, does have a 60 40 split bench seat you can see three in that third row we'll talk more about that when we get to the inside uh, but what's great about this is these expeditions have front and rear independent suspension which can give you a great ride but because of the rear independent suspension also gives you some flexibility like folding these seats flat into the floor and what's great about the expedition uh, for 2018 and 19 is that you do have your power fold switches over here that standard equipment on your platinum uh, you just gonna hit you can press the left right or both and we're gonna do both so if I press and hold it it's gonna go ahead and I did forget let me unlock the vehicle if you do this for too long then it won't be activated it does have to be unlocked so go ahead and press those twice and it's going to lower those seats down and about halfway those headrests are going to go down so in the past you had to pull the straps on the back of those headrests so that they would fall down uh, but not and uh, this uh, not anymore on the newer expeditions so real nice you get a flat load level in there as well there also, that's great. We do have the folding seats for those the second row seats. So I can do that from back here as well. You have left, middle, and right. So if you just press those one at a time, just don't have to hold it, just press it and release. It's gonna go ahead and lay those seats down here. So that way, if you have something long in there, you don't have to go around, move all those seats down. You can do it from back here and give you a flat low level. Now, if you do have the max length, you are gonna be able to put as much as a sheet of plywood in here, because it is about eight feet long from the back of those uh, front seats clear back to here if you have that max link. So uh, great flexibility in here. You do have uh, some other storages in here as well. And we'll get into some of the compartments for the third row uh, when we move to the inside. Now moving to the interior, there are two different color interiors that are available for your Platinum Edition uh, interior trim. Well, first one is what you're seeing here with the medium soft ceramic interior. So I uh, love the look. It's, it's gonna have some ebony inside of it. Uh, so your ebony on the dash, 
Uh, in fact, let me go ahead and give you a clip of the uh, front of the dash. You can see what it looks like. But uh, just like this, you're going to have the ebony on the top part of the doors on your dash as well as your steering wheel uh, on the center stack and everything throughout the front of it here above your glove box and everything. Uh, your difference between this and your ebony interior is your soft ceramics going to have some of that, that light tan uh, on your those armrests for your doors as well as the center console and your seats uh, throughout the vehicle. So uh, real great look no matter which way you go. The ebony is going to be of course all ebony uh, throughout the vehicle. Uh, so I'm not sure on the headliner. Uh, I know that your headliner is that uh, more ceramic look uh, on this particular vehicle and I think on your ebony that also stays that color um, but it may go to black as well and I'll give you some clips on Ford's website so you can see the difference between those two interior colors. Uh, regardless of these seats you are going to get the nice uh, leather upgraded seats so these are great quality leather seats really like having almost a uh, uh, Lincoln Navigator type of luxury leather with these seats you will get the quilted bolsters on those seats as well as the platinum badging on the backrest of those uh, front seats here front bucket seats uh, with the uh, big wide console here with real wood uh, here on the console cover so the, the cup holders as well as the appliques and everything that is real wood accent uh, you're going to love the, the feel of that uh, here on the console itself here dual 10-way power seats in fact these are active motion uh, seats for the driver and front passenger and active motion means that it's a multi-contoured with where massages as well as you have several different lumbar settings uh, for the seat i think there's three or four I think there's three different adjustments in the backrest as well as some different adjustments for you. So you're going to be able to control those with the lumbar switch over here and then switch it on the screen to massaging seat and, and have that going as well. So uh, heated and ventilated front seats as well. Uh, ventilated is a fancy word for keeping it cool. Uh, basically what it's going to do instead of actually cooling the seat off, it ventilates because it pulls the air through the seat and that's how it cools it off. So it's going to be quieter. Uh, you're going to have less condensation sitting underneath the seat and that's why we want, they went for from the cooled to the ventilated system on a lot of their vehicles. So a uh, great situation here for the front uh, driver and front passenger. Second row seat is going to be standard with the 40-20-40 split bench seat like you're seeing with the seat. Those two outside seats are going to get the quilted bolsters like the front seats. Same quality leather in the second row. Uh, those two outside seats will also get heated seat feature uh, back there. Uh, then also those seats can uh, slide forward and back uh, depend, you know, give them leg room, uh, which is a nice flexibility. And then that middle seat will actually slide forward as well. So if you have uh, an infant, you can put them there, slide that seat forward so you can be able to reach them a little bit easier. And that's the goal behind that. Uh, they've actually been doing that in their expeditions for a while now. Behind the console, you're going to see some vents back here. You're also going to get like two USB ports. You're going to have auxiliary all, uh, climate controls down down there. Uh, you're going to have a 110 outlet as well. So uh, great ways to, uh, to be able to power those different devices uh, using all those uh, different uh, power adjustments behind the console here. Uh, to, uh, so two USB ports back there. Third row seat. Seats three back there as we mentioned earlier. You will also back there have a switches for power recline. So you can uh, hit the buttons on the side and those seats will recline back. So it's power adjustment for those and there's no levers for those or anything. Just use those buttons right there. Also there's going to be a USB port for uh, two of them, one on each side of the third row seat to be able to power devices back there. There's going to be six USB ports in this vehicle. We'll get to the ones here in the front here uh, in just a little bit. Uh, here on the door, you're going to have your power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one touch for those front windows. Uh, you can actually, we talked about auto fold mirrors, but you can fold those in at any time using that button. And driver memory for three, three different drivers. And that's going to memorize a lot of different controls. Don't want to give away any that I haven't talked about yet, uh, but it's going to control the mirror in your seat. And this does have the easy entry and exit seat. Uh, that's going to use those driver memory for those. So when you, as you can see right now, the seat is back, the steering wheel is up out of place. And when you hit that push button start to start the vehicle, it's going to move the seat into the position of the last driver that drove the vehicle. And then if that's not you, you just hit your button and it's going to adjust it on the fly. Also, it's going to adjust the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Electronically, it'll go up and down, forward and back, uh, so you can get it just right. And that's going to be included in your driver memory features. Also, power adjustable pedals. Uh, you can control those with these switches right below the headlights, and it's going to bring those pedals 
forward and back as well also be included in your driver memory features so it's going to control four different uh, settings there your steering wheel is a leather it's Waldorf or Wal Walsdorf leather wrap steering wheel here is is upgraded uh, for your platinum edition heated steering wheel as well uh, so it'll heat that up in the winter time uh, I do like that there's a switch just right here you don't have to go into your uh, screen settings to be able to do that it's going to be right there on your climate control as well uh, on the steering wheel, let's take a look at that. You're going to have your cruise control on the left side of the steering wheel. Um, don't forget it's adaptive cruise control where you can adjust the gap there. On the right side down at the bottom, you're going to see the controls for your, uh, your Bluetooth controls, making and receiving phone calls, using those voice commands, and muting your audio. And then above that, on the right side, you're going to see is a D-pad for your audio controls, volume controls, as well as memory, uh, presettings for your different uh, controls for your radio uh, controls right there. The D-pad on the left will control the screen here in the middle. Uh, that is an 8-inch uh, productivity screen where you can control a lot of different settings, towing as well. It does have a trailer connect guide in there uh, to a smart connector. Uh, so you can control all those uh, through that screen and uh, easily uh, to control that off-road modes and everything in there as well within that screen there. To the right is going to be your push button start. Uh, so easy to just get in push the button start don't have to get the keys out of your pocket to start the vehicle or to get in and out of it as I mentioned earlier let's talk about your climate control it is like more of a tri-zone uh, climate control because you do have auxiliary climate in the back and then up here you have a dual zone for the front driver uh, and front passenger up here so they can have two different temperatures up here you can see the heat and cool buttons are right there as well uh, and then your heated steering wheels I just mentioned uh, just a second ago auto climate control uh, as well for that uh, real easy to just be able to control everything right here uh, for your audio control, it's a B&O, Bang & Olufsen audio sound system. Uh, so great sound system. It does have the speaker. I think it's a 10-speaker audio sound system with a speaker up here uh, on the dash as well as several throughout the vehicle really give you a nice uh, surround sound. This does have the active uh, noise control as well. So it's going to kind of like active noise cancelling uh, headphones there, be able to make it much quieter in here so you can have a conversation with those in the vehicle without having to yell. So I think you'll appreciate that. Also, AM, FM it does have Sirius XM satellite radio, MP3 capabilities, HD radio as well. Uh, it will have this, the Sync 3 system. Uh, that's a, a Ford's third generation voice enhanced recognition system. Uh, you're going to be able to control your audio, your phone, uh, your climate through that, and your voice activated navigation system. So you will have the touchscreen nav with the pinch zoom capabilities with the Sirius XM and traffic and travel link as well to go along with that so you can see the gas prices uh, weather you can even see the uh, map so if you have some weather conditions ahead it looks pretty bad you can pull that up on the map using the Sirius XM traffic and travel link and you can see where that weather uh, uh, the, the storm is just on that radar on the map which is really cool and then of course what we talked about already when you put that vehicle in reverse that's where you're going to see that 360 degree uh, backup camera uh, the left side will be the the, uh, the backup camera or the front camera and then the right side will be uh, around the vehicle you just hit the uh, the camera button at the top there right above the screen to the right and you can see a full view of the backup camera if you want kind of zoomed in hit it again and you can zoom in on that if you're back up to those trailers or different items as you're uh, backing the vehicle up i'll kind of go over these switches right above that screen you do have a hill descent control on the left side there you have your traction control. We can turn that off if you want to right there if you're in a, kind of a situation where you need to shut that off. Of course, your hazard. That other button is your lane keeping system. That's where you can activate and deactivate your lane keeping system and, and whether or not that's going. Uh, your auto start stop technology and deactivating that. We already talked about that is right there. And then that camera button we've just been using is right there as well. Up here on the mirror, you do have auto dimming rear view mirror. So that way it's going to dim that mirror if those cars want to come up behind you with those bright lights. On this overhead console, you're going to see a little bin for those sunglasses. You can flip that down, put the sunglasses in there, and right in front of that is a little mirror. You can pull that down, and then you can see the kids a little bit better in the second row seat. Uh, very convenient uh, for you, especially if you have toddlers or babies uh, back there. You're going to want to be able to see those right there. And then you're going to see switches for, uh, your, um, of course, your light, lighting in here, as well as you're going to see the switches for the moonroof. Panoramic Vista roof is standard equipment in your Platinum. It is going to have your power sunshade, and those buttons to the right are going to control that. Uh, it'll go on back. It'll stop about halfway, especially if you don't have anybody in the back. You can just open it up for you to enjoy it, or you can hit that button again, and it'll open up for everyone in the vehicle to enjoy it. And then it will have the moonroof as well that'll open up the glass roof like you normally expect on the vehicle, too. So uh, that's going to be controlled right up there. On the uh, visor up here, you're going to have uh, garage openers for three different garage doors. You can control any kind of uh, transmitter 
transmitters. So it could be gates. If you live out in the country and you have a gate that uses a transmitter, you could uh, program that in there as well. So that way you don't have those visors uh, clipped on there and they fall off when you bring that visor down uh, for the sun. Uh, very convenient uh, feature up there. Uh, over here to the uh, right of the climate control, you're going to see is your PowerPoint over here. Uh, and uh, we're going to have some 110 outlets up here. We're going to talk about some different uh, controls there. I think the only 110 outlet is behind the console there. And then up here in the glove box, I'm going to go over this real quick. There is two different glove boxes. You have this glove box opens up here. Really big glove box uh, where you can put the owner's manual uh, there in the, the middle uh, rack there and everything. And then have plenty of room to put some things in there. And you also have this here. You just press that button and it's going to open it up and give you a little shallow uh, a little compartment there to be able to put some smaller things in right there if you want to. Uh, if somebody that's uh, riding with you could put in their cell phone or different belongings in there uh, as well right there and having that storage up there. You do also have a little tray up here too that you can put things in as well. It's kind of a non-stick thing so it won't move around. Uh, it kind of grips uh, that whether you want to put your phone up there or some other belongings you can too. Let's talk about the console area here. Media Hub is this front part up here where it says sync. You can just slide that forward and in here you're going to see the two smart USB ports for the driver and front passenger. And those are going to be very important because this does have the Android uh, Auto and Apple CarPlay with this and if you have the, and the Apple phone you will have to plug your Apple phone in to get that that to come up on the screen. Android phones you can just Bluetooth and it's going to be able to be activated that way. And then you will see also in there the wireless charging pad. Uh, so that way you can put that wireless charging phones in there and it's going to charge there uh, when you're driving. Now it is a slow charging, it's not a fast charging wireless charger, uh, but still will charge that phone and keep it going. And if you have the iPhone 10, uh, it's going to be capable for that or compatible, I should say, as well as I think a lot of your Samsung and Android phones for the last three or four years uh, are going to be able to be used with this, uh, which is going to make it real nice and easy for you. Uh, here on the, the back behind that, you're going to see this uh, the shift, uh, the rotary dial shifter, I should say, with your select shift behind that we already talked about earlier, and your drive mode a switch is going to be right here uh, with your uh, two high and uh, your auto, four auto right there uh, for your four wheel drives. And then the switch is behind there, and there's your active park assist, so you want to press that when you want to try to find those parking spaces. And then you can shut off your reverse sensing, so if you back up to that trailer, you can easily just shut it off right there. Open up the little, cup, the little compartment to the right is where you're going to see your cup holders uh, in there. And I want to kind of point that out because this does have ambient lighting. Ambient lighting will light up those cup holders, the footwells, and your door, hand, door compartments. And in your, uh, your screen up here, your 8-inch touchscreen, you can adjust the ambient lighting for several different colors uh, as well throughout there. I think there's about eight different options for you to be able to adjust that. And uh, that's where you're going to see that. So very nice, uh, cool look. Even the footwells in the back seat will light up under there too. In this console, we'll open this up. A really big console in here. You have a shallow shelf in here that'll slide back and forth. You can put coins in there, smaller items that is removable. You can take it out real easy if you want to put something really big in there. And then down in there, you can see a big compartment in here where there's another PowerPoint down in there. As you can power devices, there is a slot for cords to come out uh, right to the front on the passenger side. So a uh, big area to be able to store some things in there. Uh, and then, of course, this little uh, shelf here that can go in and out of there as well. Last couple things I want to talk about is standard equipment on this. I did mention the carpeted mats were standard equipment. They are a little bit different. They are upgraded. They're going to have some different embroidering on the outside. So they're going to be an upgraded carpet is what uh, they're calling in the order guide. So that's going to be uh, standard equipment. And then your... Uh, door seal plates have that platinum as you're getting in. So really when you people are getting into the vehicle, they know they're stepping into something very luxurious uh, with the door seal plates there too uh, that's going to be in this. Another thing I want to uh, mention, there's two switches over here above your headlights to the left. I forgot to mention it earlier. One of them is your power lift gate. So if you're in driving, picking the kids up, they need to put some gear in the back. You can just hit that button and it's going to open up the power lift gate back there. The switch to the left is going to be those headrests for the third row seat. Uh, the reason you might have those is because those headrests are a little taller uh, than your second row headrest. So sometimes it's, it's hard to see uh, through the back glass back there. So you can hit this button and it's going to automatically lower those headrests down and they're going to fold down so that way you can be able to see through that back glass back there. So, uh, And the last thing I want to talk about before we move into optional equipment is the four pass connect which is standard equipment on your Platinum or standard even on your XLT 202A equipment group on above. Uh, what that's going to do is allow you to stay connected to your vehicle 
using the Ford Pass app. So it's a free app that you download. You put your vehicle in there. Uh, you go ahead and connect it with the modem of your vehicle. So you can use a, cool, so a bunch of cool features like being able to remote start your vehicle from anywhere. If you're you know, not pro, in close proximity to the vehicle, you won't be able to remote start it. You can use your app to do that. You can also schedule remote start times. So maybe if you every morning you know you want to remote start it, uh, you can go ahead and set uh, scheduled remote start times for uh, your vehicle. You can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere using the app. So real nice and easy to use. As well as see a, a lot of information about your vehicle, like the, you know, how much fuel is in it, uh, how your fuel, your oil life looks, uh, whether it needs the maybe it's time to change the oil. You can even locate your vehicle. It's going to uh, show that uh, location by using the modem and locating the vehicle. So if you come out of that game, don't know where you parked, you're going to be able to do that and use that to find your vehicle and know exactly where it's at. So a bunch of other features like even scheduling service is going to be able to be done through that app. So it's a great app. Definitely want to make sure you not only download the app, put your vehicle in, but also go ahead and connect your modem to it as well. And then you do have Wi-Fi hotspots. So if you want to pay for the $20 a month for unlimited data, you can connect up to 10 different devices to the internal modem in here to the to the Wi-Fi and be able to allow them free internet access uh, to your vehicle and I think it's like a twenty dollar a month plan through AT&T uh, to be able to do that so four paths connect is great and now the uh, Wi-Fi hotspots that is not something that you have to activate uh, my vehicle I use the four pass app to remote start my vehicle all the time uh, so you can use those features regardless you don't have to pay the twenty dollars for that that's just if you want to use this uh, vehicle as a mobile hotspot so uh, some great features now we've covered all the standard equipment let me talk about a package that I think you might want especially if you plan on towing any kind of big trailer now there were a couple features that I was afraid I was going to miss and I did I, I forgot two features for the second row seat uh, that are standard equipment all your platinum so I want to cover those before we go into optional equipment and the first one to talk about is the rear inflatable seat belt standard equipment on your platinum additions uh, and uh, what's great about that is it's going to deploy those uh, airbags here on this, those outside seats uh, if you're in a collision uh, so that way hopefully you don't have those kids don't get uh, strained from the car seat uh, hurting them or hurting their chest or anything in that collision so that's uh, something they've added to this as standard equipment also the tip and slide tip and slide is actually a it's standard on all your limiteds and platinums uh, even available on XLT 202A and above uh, it is a class exclusive so uh, it's very important what's great about this and the reason they have this is if you have car seats in a, in a seat uh, and people want to get into the third row seat you don't have to take the car seats out uh, they can stay in there and the seat can still slide forward so they can get access to the back so let me show you how that's done there's a button on both sides for either side of the vehicle you can do this on you just press that button there on the pillar it's going to go ahead and release that seat uh, so that way it can pop up and then you can slide it forward so then you just take your hand and you slide it forward as you can see it stays in that position so you can leave that car seat in there uh, the rear face facing uh, toddler seats are a little bit harder to do this with uh, I have one myself uh, that's a little bit difficult but if you have the front facing uh, seats that's a little they can be able to slide forward uh, pretty easily with this and then you just go ahead uh, when, and put it back into position just like that uh, so you don't have to worry about it so real nice and easy to be able to use so tip and slide class exclusive standard equipment all your platinums now I want to talk about the heavy duty trailer tow package and this package is required if you want the max amount of trailer towing which is 9300 pounds for the Expedition which is a class exclusive. Uh, now with this the, the rear differential that comes on all your Expedition Platinums, two wheel drive and four wheel drive regular and max length is a 331 non limited slip rear axle. So one of the things you get when you go to this package is you're going to get the 373 electronic limited slip rear differential to go along with this as part of that package. Uh, you're also going to get the heavy duty engine radiator as well. So you want to make sure you can handle uh, towing anything with this big EcoBoost. Uh, that radiator is going to help out giving you that extra heavy duty uh, engine radiator. Also you're going to get as uh, equipment on this for your four wheel drive models is going to be the two speed four wheel drive system, the automatic four wheel drive system. So now instead of just having a two high and a four auto, you're going to also get a four low as well. So it's going to be the four wheel drive system like you're seeing on this particular vehicle because this has a heavy duty trailer tow package. 
Also inside, you're gonna get a couple other great features to help out with your towing. And the first one's gonna be that integrated trailer brake controller. Uh, so that's gonna help you manage that trailer, especially on those hills. Uh, you're coming down those hills, you can go ahead and control the brake uh, with that integrated trailer brake controller uh, of the trailer there. So that's a, that's a real nice feature to have. Also your Pro Trailer Backup Assist. So this comes in real handy when you're backing up those conventional trailers uh, because you can just steer the trailer using that dial uh, and you're just controlling where it goes uh, along with that and your camera to be able to see behind you. So that, that's a real nice and easy to use so that way you don't have to worry about do I turn left or right to make the trailer go the right direction. Uh, so Pro Trailer Backup Assist is going to be included with this package as well. Now we're going to talk about standalone options that you can get from the factory. Uh, first uh, two are things that you can you have to order from the factory if you want those put on your vehicle. And the first one is going to be your engine block heater. Uh, so that's uh, a lot of people like to put that on there, especially if they keep their vehicle outside in the winter time. It gets really cold outside. Uh, that way they can plug that in and keep it warm, so that way it will start up real easily in the morning. Shouldn't have any problems anyway. Uh, but if you want the engine block heater, that is optional equipment for you. Also, your second row seats. Uh, if you don't like the the uh, 40 20 40, you rather have bucket seats that is an option you can add your bucket seats it will have a flow through will not have a console in the middle so you'll have bucket seats with the pastors what we like to call it those uh, two seats will still get heated seats back there they also get rear inflatable seat belts and you'll still have the power tip and slide capabilities as well as you can uh, slide those uh, position forward and back so basically it just takes out that middle 20% uh, seat there uh, in the middle for you now the rest of these features I'm going to talk about the options for you can be ordered from the factory or you can get them from your port Ford parts department and they can put them on for you either way uh, if you do order them from the factory they will be shipped ahead of time and the dealership will put them in. Now first one we want to talk about is your all-weather mats. So you can get all-weather mats in there. They're going to go in the footwells in the front seat as well as those in the second row seat to protect the footwell, especially if you're tracking a lot of water, mud, snow, and that kind of thing. It might be something to put in uh, your vehicle that way. Also, you can get a reversible cargo mat. And so that's a mat, especially for the extended link back there uh, for when you can put it back there. I think it's actually made for when you have the third row seat uh, folded down. It's gonna be carpet on one side and it's reversible and all weather on the other side. So that way you can protect it. And that's a great way to put that in there, especially if you know that you're carrying a lot of things around. Uh, that's a great uh, addition to, for you to put on your vehicle. And the last thing I want to talk about is the headrest up here, the second row headrest. You can get the dual headrest rear entertainment system. And so those will play separate uh, videos, separate DVDs. They have, I think they even have plugins for your, um, your HDMI cables, your audio video cables. So you can play all kinds of videos. They'll come with uh, two sets of headsets as well. Uh, so that is something you can add. Uh, I think it's about a $2,000 charge from the factory. It'll come ahead of time and usually the dealership will install that for you. Uh, but that is optional equipment for you. Uh, you could also get that through your aftermarket department after you get your vehicle. Let's talk about the warranties. The warranty on this is a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty and a five year, 60,000 mile roadside assistance. Uh, so that's pretty uh, similar to all the different warranties you have on all the other expeditions as well as a lot of your other Ford vehicles as well. Now, if you're looking for some inventory on these expeditions, you can check out our website, lawnmacarthur.com. There in each one of our vehicles, you can check for availability, schedule a test drive, you can see pictures, as well as you can pull up the window sticker and even do a 360 degree walk around each one of our vehicles. We picture and do a spin on each one of our in-stock vehicles. Uh, so definitely check that out. That spins are really cool because you can take the vehicle and take it around so you can see all the way around it, as well as inside too. You can get a great perspective like sitting right in the middle seat there in the second row. Uh, so thank you, I really appreciate that as well. Uh, do check out our prices there because on our prices we do a special internet pricing and we include rebates with our pricing as well as all the dealer discounts that we can do on that so a lot of our expeditions are priced invoice minus rebate so definitely check that out if you want to know yours uh, the rebates are the same as ours from your zip code you can call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031 or you can call us toll free 1-800-874-6316 hope you enjoyed this video on the 2019 ford expedition platinum 
Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, we have a special offer for you, and that's going to be free shipping uh, to one of our vehicles to your door. And the reason we do that is because we've had a lot of people that have asked the, that they'd rather they'd like to work with us, but we're just too far away, and it's just not feasible for them. So you can get the same great internet price, invoice minus rebate on the expeditions, and have it delivered right to your door. We just ask you to finance it with us and live within the 48 states. We can do that, and we're very transparent about it. It's not a cost we want to incur onto you. So if you finance a vehicle with us, the lenders do give us a kickback for any financing deal and that's how we're able to pay for that vehicle to you so that way you know you can get a great vehicle to order the way you want to from a dealership that you can know and trust that knows a product like we do here at Law MacArthur so definitely reach out to us if you have any questions on that 785-378-5031 uh, or toll free 1-800 8746316. Again, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. I will go ahead and respond to those. Uh, and I love answering those questions from the community. So if you have any, you can do that. If you want to reach out to me on social media, you can do that as well. I'm at Tim Bartz on Facebook or Twitter. So I have a passion for the Ford lineup. So definitely reach out to me. And I love talking about it, even if you don't purchase a vehicle from us here. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button and let other people know it's a great video they need to watch. I'd really appreciate it and it helps out the channel. And speaking of that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button below the video. Uh, or you can go ahead and hit the uh, logo in the middle after this video. And don't forget to hit the, the uh, notification bell. That way you can get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our channel. Also at the end of this video, you're going to see a couple different playlists for you to check out. Uh, one of them is going to be the Expedition lineup videos. So you can definitely check those out. All those videos are going to be in that playlist. As well as if you're looking for any other Ford content, we're going to have it in the playlist over here on the, this other side here uh, for you to check out too. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Until the next one, we'll see you later.